So he knows where he's going. He's going to want to go there. Ooh, what a dog. What's going on everybody? This is Bob and I've got my boy Rambler here. We're working on building his confidence running blind retrieves. I call this drill the big T, the giant T. If you've seen my other video with Rambler on T pattern, he's come a long way. That video made me wanna pull my hair out. First, before we get kicking, do me a favor, click subscribe, you know I appreciate you. So here's the giant T. We've got white poles, and I added flagging to those white poles because I wanna make sure the dog can pick out that target and feel very confident driving out there. Um, you can use you know, white milk jugs, white five gallon buckets, but I've got my tractor supply, white poles, white ribbon, and we're gonna send it. The game plan is I'm gonna send him to this one first. Hopefully he lines it or maybe a few little handles. Then the other outside lines it or hopefully a few handles. And then the middle bird or the middle blind uh, for the third one. The middle one's usually a little bit tougher. Then I'm going to repeat that, stop him halfway, and I'm gonna cast him. I want the dog, especially a younger dog like this, to learn how to carry casts. So many dogs will lose confidence when you give them this cast or this cast. We want them to carry it. So this is teaching a dog how to carry casts. Let's see how he does. This is his first time doing it. Here. I love filming their first times because he will jack it up. Here, set. Set. No. Good, right there. Back. I got my whistle in my mouth. There he goes. He, he got that one now. Oh. Good. You want your whistle ready? You want your e-collar ready? All the time. So, I always kid around. Pray your dog doesn't screw you. Have your hands up. Be ready. Okay? Whistle's ready. Whistle's in your mouth. Collar's ready. It's not in your pocket. Never in your pocket. You have it for a reason. Now I'm going to send for the other outside one. Here, bud. Here. Set. Good. Right there. Good. Back. Cruising, baby. So this is not a blind retrieve. These are targets out there in the field. He's carrying a long, good initial line. The initial line is the line he initially takes to find something with the word you're using. Here, bud. And now for the money bird, the third middle blind. So basically, I'm just showing him where he's supposed to go. The second time, I, here, set. He's gonna feel more confident about it, set. Good, right there, good. Back. Now, if you do go back and watch that T pattern, that was probably four months ago. And so we're getting, we're here at this level now. Atta boy! In four months, you watched a real debacle on T to now. We've done a ton. Wagon wheel, lining paths, walk around blinds, walking baseball. All those are going to be videos that you can find here on the YouTube channel. Here. So now we're going to start the big T. I've established them, shown them where they're at, set. And now we repeat. Here. Set good right there. Back. So he knows where he's going. He's going to want to go there. Ooh, what a dog. So look at how far he's got to carry that cast. A lot of dogs, when you're running a blind and teaching them how to run blinds, they may go 20 yards and jump back where they wanted to go in the first place, or they'll look back at you and pop. That was a great cast. Good boy. He's come a long way. And I'm kind of, I, I mean, I still got a little more to video, but I had a hard time on that T pattern. I had to, we had to make redemption. Rambler's redemption is this video, baby. Here, come on, here. Good. Heel. Set. Here. Set. Set. Well, let's go to the middle one. Here. 
set. Here, here, set. Good, right there. Back. I want to let him get a little closer. Well, he turned and dug. I want to cast again. Woo, and he did it. So, that was good. If he didn't do that, if he turned and dug to the one he wanted to go to, I would stop him again immediately. Don't let him build that head of steam. Stop him immediately. I'd call him in. There's no e-collar pressure right away, nothing like that. Call him in 10 feet to where the infraction was, and I'd cast again to that other pole, right? If he does it again, I might, might set. Right here, bud. Here, set. Put a little tickle fetch. Put a little tickle on the collar. Set. Here, here. Set. Good, right there. Good. Back. So there he goes. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Here, here, here. Bring him here. Bring him back to the infraction. Here. Good. And cast again. And look at there, big rambler. Now, I also like to make sure that they continue their momentum driving and having that good initial line. So I like to end the big T with him lining it again. So I'm gonna send him to that one and let him eat. Good boy, bud. So this is a great little drill that in a young developing blind running dog, I'll do maybe twice a week three times a week for maybe two or three weeks, and then I can revisit it, sit. When I have maybe problems as they get older, where they are not taking casts and carrying casts as long, sit. That bird, good, right there, good. Back. Roll, baby, roll. So build that confidence, holding his good initial line, looking out, digging to the pile. Uh, a lot of folks also ask, well, how far are those bad boys? The outside ones, probably the right hand one is probably 100 yards. The left hand one's probably 125, and the middle one's probably 125, give or take. But I like them spread out. It's a great drill that you could do at your soccer field at home. Good boy. Hup. Do it at a soccer field near your house, do it at a park. But you want them spread out and you want them big. Hence, big T. Had a boy. What a dog. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.